gorgeous welcome back to life and style today's video is going to be my weekly plan with me um, last week I did not do a plan with me I was under the weather again and time just got away from me so that's why you didn't see anything from me last week so I do apologize for that but I am back and um, this week what we're going to be doing is planning uh, March uh, let's see make sure I have the right dates March 18th through Sunday the 24th as you can see I've already whited out the dates the sidebar and also the bottom part where I'm gonna put the bottom washi um, again in the spirit of saving time I think it's just easier to do that off camera and come in with it ready to roll so the kit that I'm using today is a very beautiful kit um, when I saw it I knew I had to have it and it's gorgeous and not only its coloring but also the clip art that is contained within the kit this is from planning roses and it's called winter wonderland collection it is a vertical kit um, and these are the full boxes here I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you could see the kit a little better so your full boxes here you have quarter boxes down here and two little sneaky flags up here I just actually noticed those right now um, then you have your bottom washi washi strips uh, some are uh, plain and solid colors and others have the scenery from the kit again the coloring on this is gorgeous the only other thing that could have made this kit perfect of course would have been foil um, but it is still beautiful you have all of your headers you have your heart checklist flags um, larger flags you have some functional icons down here these are a little bigger than a quarter box and then on the side here you have two more quarter boxes so and I think I've had something from planting roses before where there were little surprise things on the top so um, same thing here again you have quarter boxes up here um, half boxes here solid and then with uh, the clip art watermarked and then you have a lot of functional icon and script hybrids two build dues at the bottom there and again just really pretty I love this font um, I don't use all the time from a kit like you know the um, functional script or that sort of thing but those are gorgeous so I wanted to make sure that I'm gonna be using a lot of them again beautiful um, quarter boxes here these are a little bigger than a quarter box then you have a full sheet of ombre heart checklist boxes more quarter boxes here then you have all of your little things you have another full box right here then you have your sidebar weekly like a checklist a long checklist box which is really nice two habit trackers and then is this a full no it's not so these are just um, little things just the little labels so that is the main kit and then I have a couple of other things that go along with the kit I cannot yes and if you see one red nail it's because I had um, um, what do you call it like gel on the nail and I took the rest off and I couldn't get this one off right like correctly and I just didn't want a chance ruining my real nail so you're gonna have to deal with that for just for just a little bit I know it looks a little funky but I just don't want to tear off my like my the top of my real nail um, so anyway I've had this kit for quite some time so I don't remember if this came with the kit or if this was separate so I have a sheet of glitter headers there which are very pretty then I have the date covers and also the date dots there, which are very pretty. And then up here, two little um, washi strips. Let me see, is there anything up here? Yep, two little washi strips up here. So if you order stuff from Planning Roses, just know you get a lot of little surprises up there. Then this full sheet of a fashion girl. I have said it before, I'm not really into fashion girls, but this is beyond beautiful I love the floral I love the floral headband I love the fact that you get pink hair dark hair blonde hair and you get um, a difference of skin tones as well which is really really beautiful I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one or not um, but we'll see what I'm gonna do with the full boxes and then a little page of deco which is absolutely gorgeous so I definitely know that I'm gonna be using this um, um, you know during this spread so we do have the first day of spring coming up on Wednesday but I do want to use this winter kit and it's funny because I think I have a couple of winter kits pulled out for the rest of March but I'm like it's time to start doing spring so that's what we're gonna do all right so let's start with the date covers and the date dots and a lot has happened since the last time I spoke to you guys so I got a new puppy and um, I have been um, posting about her since I got her two days ago. I have talked about the fact that my oldest dog passed away. Unfortunately, I had to put him down. Um, it's, it's going on about a year. 
and I do have a younger dog which I got for the older dog because I know that animals get lonely and so I wanted him to have a companion and so now the other dog that I got is four years old and I know that he misses the other one a lot and I am working longer hours and so I wanted him to have a companion of his own so I'm looking around and I to be honest I had kind of resigned to the fact that I didn't want another dog right now because I have carpet in my apartment and I first of all I hate carpet overall for just anything uh, we also suffer from allergies but obviously when you have a dog it's you know a whole other level of hating carpet and so um but the more I kept thinking about it I'm working longer hours and you know I just noticed that he's been very very clingy and attached which I don't mind I absolutely love it I mean we're always cuddling and loving up and all that good stuff but even my mom who was like don't get any more dogs she's like he Toby really needs you know a friend and I'm like yeah you're right um, so I was looking around just to see what breeders were charging because I wanted another Yorkie. But we're talking about, you know, starting at about $1,500 and way, way up. And I just don't have that kind of money. So I started looking around to adopt. And at first I wanted an older dog, but then I thought, well, maybe he's not going to do too well with that because he might become territorial. I mean... He's been the only dog right now, you know, for almost a year. So I said, you know what, I'm going to have to do the puppy situation, which is fine. I like puppies. They're just, they're very hard work, you know. You, you, there's so much that goes along with taking care of a puppy. I was very lucky and was able to find a um, Chihuahua mix puppy. She's 11 weeks old. And I picked her up on Friday afternoon. She took to the apartment very well. Um, Toby is, you know, a little cautious with her because he's like, what is this poop, little poopy in my house? And um, so, you know, again, he's a little, a little cautious, but of course all she wants to do is hippity hop around and play, which is, you know, I mean, she's a baby. As soon as I put her down on the floor, she kind of hopped to him to try to play with him. And he's like, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're doing in my house go away <laughs> basically you know that was kind of what it was um but he's starting to kind of come around a little more smell her a little more where before he was kind of like staying away from her and now he's going around her a little more and stuff and he'll still snap at her a bit if she you know because she's first of all her nails are like talons because you know she's a baby so they're super sharp her teeth are super sharp. She's already opened me up in a couple of fingers because I let her, you know, bite me up and stuff. And so when she kind of pounces on him, he's like, Rawr, like, get away from me because you're, you know, your stuff's very sharp. And, um, but he's, he's coming around. He's not like attacking her or anything. And he's tolerating her very, very well. She's a handful, but she's already loved. So, all right, so I'm going to move on to the full boxes and I want to take a quick look at what I've got here. So we've got our full box page, then the fashion girls, and then this one last one here. Um, all of these are really, really, really pretty. And I actually pulled out a overlay, an overlay for this one. So, um, wow. I really would like to use one of the fashion girls so that it's just not not being used um so i think i'm going to do that and i think i'm going to use that for the sidebar i want to use the one with the pink hair just because it's super cute and so i'm going to use that one and again just try to get this as even as possible to start out with so we'll do that and then i just want to show you quickly the um washi that i'm going to use on the sidebar this is the one, and I'm not sure if this camera is going to focus per usual, but this is the one where um, Simply Gilded collaborated with, um, oh God, Pigeon Paper Co., right? Yes. And they did the, um, you know, the four rolls. So you had the 15 uh, millimeter and then the 10 millimeter. So I got them both. And this is the one that has the blue kind of variation with white on the bottom and the snow owls and the trees with all of like the little silver 
um, foil. I'm not sure how well you're going to see that kind of just sparkling throughout. So I'm going to use that for the sidebar. Um, but I do, like I said, I did want to use a fashion girl and I may use, no, I'm not going to use an overlay for that one. So we're not going to do that. All right. So we're just going to put them down the middle today. I definitely do want to use this one. I may not use her only because we already have a fashion girl, but let's see what we've got here. All right, so what I do want to do, actually, I'm going to start on the weekend only because these kind of look to me like staying at home and just relaxing. Actually, this one does too. So I'm going to put this one on Saturday and this one on Sunday. So let's do that. Yeah, so the last couple of days have been fun and interesting, to say the least. So Little Miss Phoenix and I, we play a game. <laughs> And the game is you have to sleep in your doggy bed at night. <laughs> so last night was really funny because the first day I think she was just, you know, really tired. She had had a shot before she left the, um, I got her from the SPCA of Connecticut. And so she had a shot before we left. And um, so she was, I, I, I can tell that she was pretty tired. She was pretty pooped up pooped out and she had a long day you know um she was there with her mom and her sister and um actually her sister i think was going to get adopted today and her mom tomorrow or the next day which is really good and so she had a long day with that but again she took to the place pretty quickly and the first night she slept very very well and so <laughs> Yesterday, last night, so I was like, okay, it's time to go to sleep. I was really, really sleepy, and I'm like, oh boy, here, here, here we go. We're going to fight with this, right? <clears throat> and um, <laughs> and so what I was doing was, you know, I closed the door to the bathroom. I have a bathroom in my bedroom, and I put the bed right in front of it. The bedroom's not that big, so it's not like she was very far away from me, and she could see me on the bed. So I put her there, and... Let's see what I want to put here. Mm, I think I'm going to put this one. And so I put her in the bed and then I, you know, lay down. I get the blanket and she pops up, you know, a little, little meow because she hasn't learned how to bark completely yet. So, which is very funny. And so I go, no, nope. and I said, you know, I'm got, I gotta stick with this. I gotta stick with this. I gotta make sure that she um, stays in her bed and she's not, you know, sleeping in my bed. First of all, she's tiny. I don't mind that my dog sleep in the bed with me, but she's tiny. And so A, I don't wanna smash her, and B, I don't want her to fall off the bed or jump because it's very, very high. So I was trying to get her into the bed and she pop up and kind of mew a little bit. And I'm like, no, Phoenix, you have to go lay down on your bed. You can't sleep with mommy. So I put her in the bed and she'd curl up real quickly. And then she would, as soon as I lay down and started moving the covers to get them over me, she'd pop back up. Meow. <laughs> no, Phoenix, you got to sleep in your bed. I swear to God, we went back and forth with this for about <clears throat> 20 minutes. I'm not kidding. And I said, you know, I told myself, I guess, like, you know, you knew this was going to be work and you got to stick to it. I, again, I just, and I'm not even afraid of smashing her, to be honest, because I've had puppies sleep in my bed before. And I'm like a mother with a newborn child. I, I don't sleep, you know, because you're always in the back of your mind. You know that there's precious cargo in the bed or something, you know. And, um, <clears throat> okay, so I have overlays for the glitter headers, which I want to use. These are from Rose Colored Days. As you can see, they're just polka dots and they are um, hollow which is really cute so just want to use these um so but I just I want to get her used to that because if she doesn't grow up to be which she's I, I highly doubt it that she's going to grow up to be very big um I don't want her jumping off the bed even the dog I have now Toby you know if I see that he's kind of looking to jump off the bed and sometimes he'll he'll beat me to it and I don't like that because again the bed is very high you know, I'll help him down in the mornings and obviously he can't get up by himself. Um, but obviously I definitely do not want her jumping off. So 
I was like, nope, we're going to stick true to this. You knew it was going to be work. We're just going to be like, no, you're not. You're going to be sleeping on the bed. And so it was funny because sometimes I'd get up and I'd like, shoo, shoo, you know, like kick out my feet, just kind of like trying to get her in that main direction, not kicking her, but just like kicking the ear, like, nope, you got to go this way. And then she tried to go another way. So I put my foot in the way and kind of try to redirect her. And she jumped back into her bed and literally curl up so quickly. But as soon as I got into my bed and put the covers over, she was like, Meow. I'm like, listen, man. And finally she went down. So what I did was I took her dog bed and I just put it nearer to you know my bed. I just thought that that would be, which it was for a little bit worse because she's like, okay, now I'm next to mommy, but I can't get up there. Um, but she did end up sleeping and I slept well until I had to get up to go to the bathroom and then look how, look how beautiful that looks, like how gorgeous, right? And, um, and so she gets up and that sort of thing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the headers now. And, um, you know, so she got up and whatever. She's been really good with using her little wee wee pads, which is awesome. Um, I'm probably gonna start taking her out in like a week um, because I know that she's still young, but she's been using the wee wee pads really, really well. So um, she does that and she slept well, she eats very well. Um, she's a pain in the ass because she wants to literally bite everything. So I have to put everything away, make sure none of my shoes are on the floor. She tries to get at extension cords. I'm like, listen, Missy. And, um, but you know, that's, that's the way they are. It's just, it's what they do. And, um, but she's, you know, I've only had her two days, but she's, two days, but she's already such a little joy. And, you know, again, she was in a cage basically at the SPCA because she was a puppy. So they don't let their puppies out, um, really like outside or anything. And so I was happy to have been able to, um, to adopt, you know, and, um, just really, really happy to have been able to do that. And there were no kill. So, which is, you know, obviously even better. All right. So I'm going to take these little quarter boxes here for my and actually this week I have two days off because I'm taking tomorrow off just to stay with her one more day because um you know she's still so young so like today I went out for a couple of hours and left her in her um crate but when I came back I saw she had escaped so I'm gonna have to turn it around and put it against the wall um but I want to stay with her one more day since she is so young and um so I'm, I've got Monday off and Wednesday off so we are going to I guess use these for for the days that I do work and usually I would work Wednesday but I'm not this week I have a lot of stuff to do plus again she's home so I don't want to um, leave her if I don't have to I want to make sure that I'm here as much as I can be for her she bites absolutely every, I mean, everything if you had a puppy you know exactly what I'm talking about okay so we've got a couple of extra full boxes which is really nice plus the fashion girls so that's really nice so we're gonna put that aside um and then for the two days that i am off what i think i want to use if i can find it because it was one of those surprise ones ah here we go these right here do i have two i do have two oh they're a little thicker but that's okay i'll just add a little bit of contrast to the rest of the week so those are my days off. And then on Wednesday, and I think I may have talked about this before, I'm pretty open about my mental health and that sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna be seeing a specialist on Wednesday to do some more testing um, for me just to see if uh, there are some other things going on. So I'm gonna do that on Wednesday. So I certainly cannot go into work that day. So since we're on that, let us go ahead with our work and day off stickers. So I did order, you guys know I love Sarah Elizabeth Prince. I use her stuff all the time. Well, Miss Sarah Elizabeth Prince, who is Juanita is the owner, she started doing foil. So, I mean, can you get over how rainbowy that is? That's the hollow. Um, and then I also have her payday in hollow. I also ordered it in silver and I think gold or rose gold. So I have those as well. So we're gonna put down, um, the work stickers and they're they're beautiful they're absolutely gorgeous the script you guys know I love her script she has the you, you know like the black script um, 
but again, she started, as soon as I saw that she was doing um, foil, I was like, I am all over it and I am not disappointed. It is so, so pretty. Um, so I know I'm definitely, definitely going to be ordering more from her. She does such amazing work. I actually just ordered, they're on their way, two new kits. Um, she was part of the Planners Collaborative sale and had two gorgeous new kits. I think her shop was 50% off or 40% off, so I definitely took advantage of that. Can't wait to get those in. She does such amazing work. Okay, so work is gone. And then for day off, because I didn't, didn't buy... I don't know if she didn't have her. I didn't buy from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. I'm going to use these silver ones from Hoodie Lally Day. You guys have seen these sheets many, many times. I do only have them in silver, not in hollow, but it still, you know, matches well. So, and the script is um, beautiful as well. So we'll do that for Monday and we'll do that for Wednesday, which is the first day of spring. Weather's getting better too, which is really nice. Still a little cool here and there, of course, because we're just getting to spring, but um you can feel the change in the air you know what i mean all right so those stickers are good we're good with that and then thursday is payday and for those like i showed you is the uh, sarah elizabeth prince sheet in the hollow i mean that rainbow is just freaking phenomenal i love that shot right there so so beautiful so i'm going to use just one of the uh one of the little surprise ones up here again I think it's so nice so we'll do that for Thursday because it's payday and then I've got to pay bills unfortunately but hey such is life put this over here a little bit kind of make it as even as we can all right so there's that so those are done what I want to do for tomorrow which is Monday is I want to film um, I belong to a group of collectors or uh, people who collect like statues, Funko Pops, comic books, things like that. I love all that stuff. So I am their official um, Funko Pop reviewer. So I have a couple of pops that I have to unbox and review. So I want to do that tomorrow. So we are going to film. Let me just see how I want to do that. So I think I want to use a, a flag. And if you've been watching me the last couple of weeks, you guys knew that I have been absolutely loving flags. Okay, so we'll do that for filming. And I'm probably just gonna leave my equipment up and just get everything ready. And for the film script, I have film, edit, and upload. I'm using the sheet that I have from Planning Roses, um, which is a really nice sheet. As you can see, the font on this is gorgeous. So we are going to film. So I'm just gonna put that right there and I know what I wanna film so that works out very well. I do want to exercise tomorrow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the um, header that has exercise. I'm just gonna put that right there. So I'm gonna try to do that as early as possible. And I'm not being really even with the lines here. I don't know what the heck's going on here. It's not working. All right, there we go. And then what I want to do is use an icon for that. And I don't think I have one. I have a kettlebell, but it's a little big, so I don't think I'm going to use that. Let me see if I have anything else. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do not. So I'm going to take this sheet and let me make sure I don't have anything else. On this one, I think this is ah, chores. So this is from Paper Blush Bar. This is called Blush Stroke Icons, and it's in hollow, as you can see. So you have different things here. Um, you have like baby shoes, a stethoscope, um, a laptop camera. So just different things. They're just a, kind of a little smattering of stuff. And we do have here a sneaker. So I'm going to grab that icon, and I'm just going to put that right there for the exercise and to mark that there so I don't really have to write anything in. Another thing I want to do tomorrow is I want to start gathering information on how to start my home decorating business. Um, I had talked about that some time ago, and um, what I want to do is, you know, basically just do the research as to what is required, what I need, um, any fees, how, you know, if I'm going to do an LLC or whatever. So I'm going to do a little um, research on that, and since I'm home tomorrow, I can do that. So I am going to take one of the headers um, to do. And I'm just going to put that down here. 
And then what I will do is, let me see. I'm thinking this is probably, and puppy's over here biting on her, on her, hey, hey, on her little pee pee pad. <laughs> None of that. I think I'm going to take a half box so I can just write in there. Um, and let me take one with one of the clip art designs watermarked on it, which is really, really pretty. And then let me see if I want to mark it with anything or can mark it with anything. Anything in the deco situation. And let's see what this is. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna take one of the functional icons. This has a house on it, and since it is a home decorating business, I'm gonna use that. And I'll know that that's for the research for that. I'm taking bets right now as to how often I have to stop this camera today because <laughs> puppy's doing things she's not supposed to be doing. Um, oh, and then Tuesday, I do have an appointment of PCP follow-up because she upped some of my medication. So of course, you know, they always wanna see how you're doing and that sort of thing. Um, that first week, I think like a couple of weeks ago that I didn't film because it's been like two weeks that I haven't filmed, not in succession, but was because of that. I was sick because the um, increase in medication and I mean really sick. I was super, super sick. Actually, I think another half box is going to do it. So let's do that. And I want to take another one that is... has the clip art watermarked, which are so, so pretty. Actually, I'm gonna leave a little space there. Uh, I may use something to mark it, so let's leave the right amount of space. Let's see. We do have a stethoscope in the kit, so I'm just gonna use that right here. We can use the stuff from the kit, might as well. And there's that. And there's another time I had to stop the camera because Miss Phoenix was biting again on the puppy pad. <laughs> all right, and then, all right, so that's pretty much what I've got that day. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for Tuesday. Actually, you know what I wanna do? I wanna journal. I've been trying to um, write that stuff down so that I don't forget to do it because it's important. I was really journaling a lot when I was sad or in pain or crying a lot. And, you know, ever since the increase in medication, I know some people were so so about medication, but for now, just to get me through this hurdle, it really has worked. So, you know, I find myself that I haven't been journaling, but I'm like, you want to journal no matter what, because you may be feeling other stuff that it's not just, you know, oh, what was me and all this kind of stuff. So I don't need. I don't need actually no we'll use a, a plain one so one of these little hidden ones which are very very useful um, you know I want to write anytime it's just nice to get thoughts down even if things are going really well I don't want it to just be when things aren't going well you know so that's what I'm trying to accomplish is to journal no matter what so let's see what we can do for that I don't think I have you know it's funny usually you don't have paper and stuff everything is laptops and all kinds of stuff oh no is this a planner this may look like a planner but it also looks like a journal so this is from that same blush stroke icon sheet from paper blush bar right here it looks like a planner but I can use that for a journal so we're gonna do that and that's my dog letting the puppy know that he's busy at her she keeps trying to play with him, which of course she's going to do, but he's like, look, man, no, no, no. All right, so Wednesday I have a doctor's appointment that day as well. So we're going to use another half box because I definitely want to write in the name of the doctor, time of the appointment, and location as well. So we're going to do that up here. Maybe. I know. I'm so particular. I'm such a perfectionist. You guys are probably like, just put the damn sticker down and step away from the sticker, girl. Step away from it. And I think I used the only stethoscope in the kit or anything that had to do with doctor's appointment. I don't think I have anything else. So let's see what we've got on this one. Do we have anything here? 
don't think we do, but I know I saw one somewhere else. Do we have, no, this is to clean. Darn it, I don't think I have another something for the doctor, which sucks. Oh, yes, I do. Here we go. I know I thought I saw it. The stethoscope. So we'll put that there. And then we'll figure out what to do here. And actually, usually I like to um, vacuum two days a week and sometimes three days a week. So we'll do that. And we'll just use a little things um, sticker or header, I should say. She is so funny. She's like trying to get his attention. She's growling at him. And she, like I said, she can't bark yet. So it's almost like this. <laughs> it's like when you hear like little baby tigers on shows and stuff try to like um, um, roar and you're just like, ha, ah, you ain't going to get there. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little bit of cleaning stuff. Let's see what I've got here. Vacuuming? Oh, I do have some cleaning little things. So uh, do I have a vacuum though? Do I have a vacuum? Yes, I do. Okay, so we're gonna use smaller. <laughs> she keeps trying to beat him up. Um, smaller things here. I'm trying to see what we've got and what I've missed. Or actually, do I wanna use a flag? These things are not that big, so it may not look good like that with a flag. Okay, we have two other pink ones here, so we're going to use that for Wednesday. So we'll use that for vacuuming. And back to Paper Blush Bar, but this one is called Dainty Chores. As you can see there, you just have like mops and vacuums, dishes, um, laundry, things like that. So I'm going to grab the vacuum and put that there remember to do that and then like I said Thursday's payday I have bills to pay I have to, I have to go to Petco to get Miss Thing here um, toothbrush toothpaste and probably some more pee pee pads so let's put that down I'll just use another one of these these are really coming in handy so I'll use that for here and I do have a little paw print right here so we'll use that. Darn it, I wish it wasn't pink, but I don't want to not use it. So we'll just use it, which is fine. No big deal. Pink on pink. That's fine. So Petco, and I have to do, maybe I'll do groceries on Friday. Yeah, I'll do groceries on Friday instead of Thursday, because we have to do stuff there. So uh, let's see. Yes, and Friday I also have to, I'm having a little housewarming and I like really haven't been doing much with it. So I have to buy the invitations on Friday because it's coming up. So we're going to do that on Friday as well. So groceries um, and buying invites. And actually I can do those both at the same time because the plaza I go grocery shopping and has a paper store. So I can do that stuff there. Uh, what did I say? Groceries and invites. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to use a flag for that one. So that's Friday, right? And that's in the evening. So we're going to do a to-do header. Because that's after work. Although I'm starting to think that I want to start changing a little bit <clears throat> my hours. Um, I've been working really long days and it's starting to take its toll on me mentally, you know, and... Um, I figure if I can, you know, I don't work Wednesdays and um, I figure if I can work Wednesday, I can probably leave earlier the rest of the days as well instead of working until 6 or 7 or 8 o'clock. Um, sometimes that works, you know what I mean, but we'll, we'll see or maybe even spread some stuff to the weekend, but I got to figure out what I want to do. Um, so groceries and then what did I say? I want to do invitations, but I got to see if I have anything that because I may not unless we have a little party something or other I'm trying to see if I have anything here. ah we have balloons so we can do that all right so I'm gonna use this one right here because it matches and like I said I can get do both of these things in one plaza and my mother doesn't work in the evening so I can go straight after work by myself 
without issue. And I don't, oh, here's a little sealed envelope. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> these are really cute. I love these. I got to get some more of these. All right, so there's that. And then, okay, and then I have Friday Night Open Mic Live. This is the group that I told you I belong to with the collectors. Um, I should have probably put this up here in this year, but that's okay. We'll do that there. And let's see what we have. What else? Nope, that's good. All right, so we'll put this last half box that has the clip art watermarked on it. And that'll be for the open mic live, which we do on Facebook live. So our dainty chores we don't need right now. Let me see what we can do with that. Actually, I think I can use this, this right here. I would use personally for um, YouTube. Did I say Facebook? I meant YouTube if I said Facebook. We do it on live on YouTube. I think this is a little crooked, so let me see if I can't fix this. These come up really easy too, which is really nice. Because sometimes I've got like little quaky fingers and they don't get everything completely even. <laughs> so we'll use this because we do it live on YouTube. So there's that for Friday Night Live. And then Saturday, <sighs> Wednesday I also want to exercise, so let me put that down as well. Might as, might as well. Do I have any more of those sneaky little, I do, <laughs> the sneaky little thingies here. So we'll use this for exercise. Do I have anything else for exercise? The only thing I've got is that big kettlebell. Let me see if I have anything else. Just a sneaker here. So that's fine. Uh, is that it? That's it. So we'll use the kettlebell from the kit. I know that's for exercising. And then Saturday, I want to do the same thing. So let's take a to-do. Pick the mint one. And do that, and that will do our exercise. Just gonna take one of these. It's a bit a little bit bigger. A lot of these boxes are a little bit bigger than a quarter box. And this also has clip art. Hey puppy. <laughs> She's over there sneezing. And so for exercise, but I don't have anything to mark that with. Which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. I'll know what it is for. So, and actually, I do have these stickers from Nicole Alexia Designs. I have used them before. They're in silver foil. It says gym time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that instead of writing it in. I will use that for those times that I want to exercise. So I don't necessarily have to mark it with a... Um, sorry, if you hear all that noise, it's the people upstairs for me. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Sound like damn elephants. All right. Here... Even though I have a spin bike in my house, so but it's still gym time. So it's not necessarily gym time per se, but it's still gym time. My time to work workout. What would I say? So there's exercise, that's fine. So we don't have to use that again. Because Sunday ain't nobody working out. So there's the gym time for Saturday. And of course, like I always do, I like to clean. So I am going to put that. Let me see. I don't like using these. Too, too much. Um, do I want to do it like that? Maybe I do. All right, I'm going to use, actually, let me see what I'm going to do. I want to do this. Laundry, what else? That's a laundry basket, I think. That's a desk, a bed, a laundry basket, groceries. I'm just trying to see what's in here. Shirts. Okay, so we have a lot of different little icons for different things. So I'm going to take the washing machine. And I'm going to put that right there. Because I always like to wash clothes on Saturday. And then I'm going to take the bathtub. Because I have to clean the bathrooms that day as well. And they don't take too much time, which is good. I run through them pretty, pretty quickly. And then what else? I think that's good enough for now because I kind of know what I have to do but we'll put those down for that 
And then that evening, that's next week. I'm trying to think if I'm doing anything. I don't think I am, but we'll see. All right, Sunday, we are sleeping in late. Maybe, because puppy doesn't let mommy do anything. But, uh, you know, I got to get used to that. So let's take another that match that. Try to keep those consistent between Sunday and or Saturday and Sunday. And then in the kit, I have this cute little sleep in sticker. So we want to put that down first. And I've got my oldest dog over here licking my ankles. <laughs> so we are going to sleep in that day. I also need to upload that day. So let me grab one of these stickers. that down there and then I'm going to take the planting roses a uh, sheet with all the film and stuff I'm gonna put just put upload because I'll know what that needs to be so that's that and let's see what else do you want to mark that with anything I'm just trying to think if I should do that anything else no, that's okay. I think I'll save that. And then what else on Sunday? Ah, so what I want to start doing Sunday, I'm not going to have a chance to do it this week, but what I want to start doing Sunday is start watching Harry Potter. I've said it before. I just started reading the books. I just finished book one a while ago, but I haven't started the second book yet. But what I want to do is read the book, watch the movie, read the second book, watch the second movie, so on and so forth. So I do want to do that on Sunday because I need to start. So I am going to do... Uh, let's see, a little things one, and we'll do this one right here to match the top. Because I really enjoyed the first book, and I've been looking for the movie. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rent it probably because they have it. I, I think I like TBS or TNT. They have all the movies, but I know then they do commercials and cut things out, and I don't want to do that. So I think I am going to. Um, Jesus, these people literally sound like freaking elephants going up the stairs. Jesus H Christ. Um, I want to make sure that I just watch the movie straight through, so I'm probably going to rent it. So, to do that, do we have anything for movie night? So, on the sheet that I was using earlier, the blush stroke icons, we do have two tickets. They could be concert tickets or movie tickets, and even though I'm not um, going anywhere, it's still movie night here for me, so... I'm good with that. So we'll use those or that sticker with the little tickets and that'll be for Harry Potter. All right then. Um, and then Thursday, Thursday just probably relaxing in the evening and I do want to just mark that down. So I'm going to take another little thing. I'll probably pay bills. So um, actually, yeah, let's put that down. So little things. And then paying bills. Do I have that here? Pay bills? Do I? Do I? Do I? All right. Well, we'll do that to pay bills. But let me just put down like a quarter box or something like that. And um, and then I'll just write in pay bills. So we'll take the pink one and put that there to pay the bills. And maybe off camera, I'll grab something. I also want to do my nails on Saturday. And I got this cute little sheet from Crafts by Towie. This was from a $2 Tuesday. I ordered the set. So there were six, um, six dollars. There were three of these, one in silver, one in uh, gold, and one in rose gold. So I got them. Um, so I do want to use this. And let's see. I think I'll just use one of these. And we'll do little things again. Loving all these headers. And this kit is really, really pretty. I gotta do that overlay on this too, so we'll go through that in just a moment. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna use the pink to kind of break up this green. So he's playing with her now, which is so nice. And I'm sure as she gets older and relaxes a bit, they'll bond more, you know? Um, Cause he's older, he's four, so he's probably like, what is this little jumpy thing? And I'm gonna put that right there instead of in the middle <laughs> oh there he goes you hear them <laughs> he's like you know back up girlfriend back up also 
what I want to put down just because I can and I'm going to, I have these stickers for my newest addiction that's called Winter is Coming. She released these just recently and these are just a countdown basically for Game of Thrones and this is in silver foil. Um, so it is, you know, the 18th, it starts the 14th, but as of today, which is Sunday, it is one month away. So I am going to put this down for Monday. And um, we actually, fun fact, we actually, um, myself and four other people, they were Facebook friends, and we all met to do a trivia today, and we won! So it was pretty cool, a Game of Thrones trivia, so I was really excited about that. And I think we're going to continue to make the rounds because there's so many coming up. So we're, we're really excited about that. All right, so let's start the sidebar and or let's continue the sidebar and then i think while we're doing that if anything else comes to mind for the rest of the spread i can do it so we're going to do that's the puppy um we're gonna do the simply gilded oh my gosh i don't even know what the hell's going on upstairs if they're moving stuff around or what the simply gilded washi which I think is very, very pretty. Oh, and I forgot to grab my ruler, so let me grab that. And I don't know if I showed it or not, but I finally finished my tattoo. Let me zoom you out. And so I finished the Dire Wolf um, a little over a week ago, so it's itchy right now, but I'm excited that I have it. Really, really love it. Um, and my tattoo artist, Sean, does such a great job, so really, really cool. Uh, okay, so we're just going to cut this washi. Oh, that looks so nice because there you have the trees and stuff. You're probably not going to see it because it is very pale in, in its coloring, but it's so gorgeous. All right, so we're going to grab dinners or meals. This one says meals. So we'll do that, and then we'll put down the sidebar weekly like I normally do for my meals, which is right here. It's very light, but it does have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's just very, very light to see because it's like mint and then it's in this really light white and the font is very thin as well. All right, so there's that. We're going to go back with that beautiful washi. Don't, I always do this and then I end up ripping, like tearing just a little, little, little piece with these stupid but they're pretty sharp these tweezers so um, yeah so we were excited when we went today it was so awesome and you know we were studying and and all that kind of stuff and there were five of us so everybody you know was able to we really it was a really nice team effort and then we were tied for championship and the tiebreaker question was how many minutes and it's just whoever came closest um, in total would this season be so i looked it up today i was like they're gonna ask some crazy random question and and i was like let me just they're gonna ask that they're gonna ask that and i looked it up and lo and behold they asked the damn question so it's funny because i wrote down how i remembered the chart to be and i think i was off by like 10 or 15 minutes and i'm writing them down and they're looking at me and they're like are you for real I'm like no no i'm for real like i know i knew the last two were 80 minutes the one before it was like 78 and then the first one was like 54 then 56 so i'm writing them down i'm like help me add these up quickly <laughs> um so it was pretty fun we, we really had a nice time it was so much fun and it was nice to meet these people in person they're really cool in person, just like they are on Facebook, you know? So this week, this is for um, no snacks. That's my habit tracker. And then what I'm going to do is next week, because I didn't, I didn't leave myself space for Sunday. That's fine. Um, so we'll just do this on the sidebar, and sometimes I will do it there or on Sunday. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to grab a checklist, which I'm not going to be able to use in its entirety. But that's okay so what I will do is cut it right here and use one less that's all and it still gives me a nice marker to just kind of remember what I have to do the following week or things that are important um, for me to kind of have in my face you know 
and that'll do it. So there's the sidebar right there, starting with the Fashion Girl, that beautiful Simply Gilded, and uh, Pigeon Paper Co. collab, uh, 10 millimeter washi, my meals, the washi again this week for the habit tracker, and next week just for some reminders. So I think that came out very nice. All right, so the overlays. Did I put that over here? No, that was different. Where the hell is the overlay? Ah, here we go. So I do want to overlay this one right here only because we have a nice space there. So these overlays are from Nicole Alexia Design. And as you can see, I've used one. This is silver foil and it just has a smattering on like either the top or the bottom, however you want to use it, of the um, sheet. So I'm going to use this on the top because we have that nice space on the top there. So um, I'm gonna do that and try to get it as even as I can. Because these things are clear, they can be a little hard to place. But that was not bad at all. So see how that looks, how pretty? I think that's really nice. Just a little something, a little smattering of foil there. So I think, I think we're good with this. So I am gonna go ahead and I wish I had overlays for this cause this would have been perfect to have, but I don't have silver ones. I have gold ones um, that are thick like that. So I just, I don't have any more, but this would have been absolutely balls to have had an overlay with. Um, so I'm actually, this is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in everything uh, like I do off camera and then we'll come back. I'll add some deco as well and I'll just talk through about what I added and then we'll come back to finish up. So there is the finished spread. Everything has been written in. My sidebar has been um, filled in. Next week, I just have two things um, right now that I have to remember, but I'll fill those in as the week goes on in case anything comes up. But I added, of course, uh, several pieces of deco, uh, the little fox, the wreath. I did the flowers here, the bouquet, because this is the first day of spring. The little penguins here. Again, if I had overlaid, that would have been absolutely perfect to do that. Um, but I did the overlay on here. I've got the polar bear here with kind of that um, half floral wreath and a couple of little floral um, and bird accents throughout. But I think it looks beautiful. Again, the, the coloring is very soft and... Um, even though it kind of looks springy, it's very, very icy, which I think is very nice for winter as well. So um, that's my week. I put the weekend banner up here. I had to cut off the top, but I didn't mind that. That looks fine. Um, but that's it. That's the week. So per usual, whatever you're doing this week, I hope that it is a good one for you, a positive for, one for you. If you're looking for things to come to fruition, I hope they do so this week and that overall it's just very relaxing and very peaceful for you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and also click that little bell so you get alerted as to whenever I upload new content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.